Hi, I'm Robert Olson from Grubbs Infinity. Today I'm going to show you how to Bluetooth pair a phone to the brand new 2014 Q50. The first step in pairing the phone is to go onto the main lower screen of the tablet menu, access the phone option on the lower left hand side. It'll tell you there's no phones connected. And then once that screen clears, at the top there'll be an add new option. Select that. Now of course it sends out the signal to the phone, so you'll need to go under your device, wherever your settings menu is. Select settings, find your Bluetooth menu, and make sure that first and foremost your Bluetooth option is turned on. So if that is activated on the iPhone, it'll be blue there in the top right corner. And on the list below, it'll show you the option for the vehicle you're in. It'll say my car. Tap that banner. Once the phone is paired, the lower left hand option now on the main screen will give the options for all the call contacts you may have in your phone. On this left hand side, the favorites option is where you can take numbers from your device and store them to the car specifically. For example, if you have a contact that has multiple entries, whether it be a cell phone, home phone number, business phone, or otherwise, you can take them from your phone book or other call lists and put them on the car specifically for that single entry's phone number. So as I scroll through here and I pick a particular contact that has multiple contact information, I can specifically select their cell phone and add that to the favorites to where it's easier to search for in the future. Other features on the call menu, on the phone, for call history obviously for all your incoming, outgoing, or missed calls, there at the top. On the back screen, the phone book itself obviously mimics all the entries from your phone in alphabetical order. This is at will, of course, of so the phone settings, whether or not you have first name, last name order, or last name, first name order. So make sure that your phone, when paired, is appropriated the way that you'd want a voice dial. Dial number option on the top right hand side obviously brings up the keypad to where you could enter the 10 digits and add it to the car if you don't have it in your phone, or just call directly from the vehicle as you're sitting in it. The voice dialing feature of the car also allows you to access phone books by the steering column control over here. The push to talk switch will add, turn on the actual feature to where when you press it, I could immediately press it again and say, call Josh Wilkinson. Then from there it will immediately recognize the name from my phone and call them through the Bluetooth system. I can turn up the volume to my phone call here on the left hand side next to the push to talk switch to where the incoming call volume is adjusted. Hi, Robert. Hey, Josh. Just testing out the Bluetooth connection on the phone here in the Q50. Just wanted to call using the push to talk switch to show how voice command control for vehicle operation during the time of driving is used. Oh, cool. And just like that, y'all, it's as easy as using your voice command controls on the steering column and hanging up with using the command control to the right of that push to talk switch to hang up. The Bluetooth system on the Q50 is capable of pairing up to five devices. On the lower screen, you'll select the phone option and then go to the connect device option as well to add the second device. And at the top, select add new. It's gonna ask that the current device be disconnected, so you'll say yes to that option and then let it disconnect from that. On the second device, unlock the screen, find on the Android smartphone the settings menu that will be cogwheel, and then ensure that at the top of the menu the Bluetooth function is turned on. Select Bluetooth, and then on the screen it'll show available devices. If you don't see any current devices, there'll be an option to say scan or search for devices. However, once the actual menu shows the reflection of the My Car device name on your available devices screen, Go ahead and select that option. Once done, it'll pair and then ask to make sure that the pass key 101240 or whatever it may be on the lower part of the screen as the security code is correct. Select pair, and then once it's done, it'll say connected there and then also show on screen that certain functions will be completed as well. Now on Android smartphones, they'll always ask to make sure that you wanna give access to your phone, phone book so say yes to that to allow the car to access your phone features. So however many times it takes to make sure that that feature is activated, your phone book on screen will mimic and be an option available at that point. Some Bluetooth devices have the capability of utilizing the text messaging feature in the car. Under the phone menu on the lower tablet, 
The text messaging option is the right hand side here. After you select that option, it'll retrieve the message list and show you current inbox text messages that you've received within the last few days. Also, anytime new messages arrive, it'll actually pop up on screen at the top and let you know that a message has come in and whether or not you'd like to check it now or check it later. So if I were to select it on screen here at the top, check now, it'll actually read that message to me once I select the message I want to look at. Hey Josh, how's the new Q50? Now as far as replying to those, you can select them on screen or use the actual toggle switch on the steering column to go and add a reply to whatever the text message may be. Steering wheel mounted controls also control the options on screen at the top to reply or go through other messages in your message inbox. Toggling this switch down will allow you to actually go through the different options and then ultimately pressing that switch in selects the one you have highlighted. And of course through the templates you can also reply to those messages you receive with the standard responses. This makes it much easier for the driver to keep their hands on the steering column rather than reaching up to the screen to reply to any messages received. The Bluetooth system in the car also has the capability of wirelessly streaming the music from your device. Under the phone menu option on the lower tablet, select it and you have the two different device options for which phone may make and receive phone calls and then also what phone may be the audio device to play the music wirelessly. Under the audio device option, you may select either of the phones that are paired to your tree to be the audio player. Under the audio tab on the lower left hand side of the tablet, it'll bring up any options you have as far as what source you want to play from music. BTA is Bluetooth audio. From here, if I were to select on the phone play or onto the tablet screen to play, it will begin to wirelessly transfer the music from my device. I'll be seeing you in all the old familiar places. In the event you get a new phone or you need to maybe disconnect the current phone on the phone menu, on the lower left hand side, select the phone option, go to the connect device option, and then select whichever phone you actually want to remove from your tree. By pressing that, it'll offer the option to delete that single device. Press that button for delete, and it's as simple as that. That phone will no longer appear on your list. Thanks for taking the time to allow us at Grubbs Infinity to show you some of the Bluetooth capabilities of your new 2014 Q50. If you have any further questions about the car or its uses, give us a call at 817-318-1200.